Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmake. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up your first 2D Unity project. Today's video will be the fluffy difficulty. Before we start, if you haven't already installed Unity 3D, feel free to check out my other videos on installing Unity 3D. So to get started, what you want to do is open up Unity 3D. Then you click new up in the top corner of the screen. When setting up a Unity project, you have to first give your project a name. So I'm going to call this one first 2D project. Next thing you've got to do is choose where you want to save this project. So what I've done is on my desktop, I've created a folder called Unity Projects. You don't have to do this, but I highly recommend it so you can keep all your Unity projects together. To choose your location, you can either type it up in the text box or click the three dots here to browse for it. The next thing you want to do is decide whether it's a 3D project or 2D project. So for today's video, it's a 2D project. The next thing I'm going to show you is the asset packages. We won't be using this in today's video, but I might prompt you to import these assets in a later video. So to finish up your project setup, just click create project. So what you're seeing here is Unity's UI or user interface. What we will be concentrating on in this video will be the project window, which is down at the bottom of the screen. If you're not seeing this, at the top of the screen, if you click Windows and then click Project, or you can use the shortcut Control 5. On Macs, I believe it's uh, Command 5. Before we continue, if you've uh, accidentally created the wrong type of project, say if you've uh, created a 3D project instead of a 2D project, what you can do is instead of creating a new project, if you go up to Edit at the top of the screen, go to Project Settings, and then click editor. If you look to the right of the screen in the inspector, go all the way down to default behavior mode and next to mode, uh, if you click the drop down menu, you can change whether it's a 3D project or a 2D project. So I've shown you how to uh, set up a project. What I'm going to show you now is how I'm going to organize 2D projects in future videos. So if we go to the project window, what you're seeing here is the assets folder. This is where all your assets will be imported to, to use inside Unity. So to create a folder, you can either right click in the assets folder, go to create and folder, or you can go to assets at the top of the screen, create and folder. So the first folder I'm going to create is called animations. This is where all the animations you create inside Unity will be saved. The next folder I'm going to create is called asset imports. This is where you store the assets that you input from either the asset store or the ones you saw when you started up Unity. The next folder I'm going to create is called Audio. This is where all your audio and sound effects will be stored. So inside that folder, what I'm going to do is create two folders, one for music and one for sound effects. So if we go back to the assets folder, the next folder I'm going to create is called Materials. Materials in 2D games are used to adjust the friction and bounce that occurs between 2D objects. So the next order I'm going to create is called Prefabs. Prefabs can store your game object complete with all its components and properties that have been modified. They can also be used in a different part of your game. The next folder I'm going to create is called Scenes. Scenes contains objects of your games. They can be used to create main menus, individual levels, or anything else. Think of each scene as a unique level inside of your game. The next folder I'm going to create is called Scripts. Scripts are an essential part of every game, even the simple ones. The last folder I'm going to create is called Sprites. Sprites are 2D graphical objects that are used inside 2D games. Inside that folder, I'm going to create three more folders. The first one is called Characters. This is for your characters, mobs, enemies, NPCs, etc. 
The next file I'm going to create is called environment. This is for your buildings, terrain, rocks, grass, etc. It will basically contain all the building blocks for each level you create. The last file I'm going to create is called items. This, this file will contain things like swords, guns, health potions, gold, etc. And that is it. That's how I'll be setting up my 2D projects in future videos. If you found my video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. If you haven't already, feel free to check out my other videos on installing Unity 3D. The next video I'll be doing will be explaining my difficulty system. Once again, if you found my video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.